Howdy. Today on Scandi Daily, I'm going to show you a scan comparison between the LiDAR sensor and the iPhone 11 True Depth. I'm going to do a scan comparison on this chair. It is a uh, very good scan subject, and it's going to really highlight the differences between the True Depth camera and the LiDAR scanner. So, for reference, this camera is going to switch and become the thing that scans with the uh, true depth in a minute. But have the iPad Pro, put it in a case because I got afraid. Um, cool, so here we go. Switching over to LiDAR mode. Going to go ahead and hit start scan so I don't forget to do that after I get through scanning the whole thing. And here we go, there's my chair. And as per usual, LiDAR scanning is just really, really quick and easy. Their tracking algorithm is great. Um, some things I have noticed is that you will chase the scan, is what I'm calling it. As you scan around, um, whatever area you scanned last looks good, and then like it'll start trading off parts of the mesh to keep. So whatever. Um, this looks good. There's that chair. Boom. I know what this chair looks like. So I would recognize that that's that chair, but you know, maybe not in any great detail, but, um, it's a 337 kilobyte file. So it's already quite small. Um, we will go ahead and uh, see if we can't clean it up a little bit though. Just go ahead and Clip, clop, cloop, great. Um, overwrite it. So there's our chair. Uh, do the fun thing, drop it into AR. And there's the chair next to the chair. Cool. So now we're going to switch sensors over to the iPad. Uh, do, 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 do. over to the iPhone 12 um, or iPhone 11, excuse me, iPhone 11, I swear. Um, this was sitting more nicely in here a minute ago. Oh, well, we're going to assume that's not going to fall. Very brave assumption. That's why we put in a case, Cole. All right, cool. So, saw the practice scan I just did of this. So now we're on the iPhone 11 using the front facing true depth camera. And I'm gonna show you one just like hand freestyling, and then I'm going to attach my Scandi Lookout which is super cool. It's just a mirror and a really nice design clamp that we made that snaps onto any phone, whether you have a case or not. It also fits onto the iPad, so that's nice. Um, and I'm gonna show you kind of lookout versus regular scan and kind of like how you can go about getting good scan techniques. So for reference, I'm doing this at three millimeter. I've gone everywhere from two and a half to three and a half for this scan. And there's no real fine features on this chair. So I don't really need to go below two for sure. Uh, I could go up to four, but I don't need that much extra distance to scan. So anyways, um, I do have a bit of a help over here. So my computer that I'm mirroring to is just right there. Um, but to show that I can do this without looking at the computer screen, um, I'm just gonna line my phone up on the subject. I'm looking at the screen right now, and then I like what I see. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the volume rocker to start the scan. And here we go. Scan, scan, scan. Looks pretty good. So just scanning back and forth across this area. And then I'm gonna do a bit of a twist as I scan here, um, just to keep my hand in a comfortable position. And this is something I talk about a lot on Scandi Daily Scans is comfort while scanning that you want to be 
smooth and stable. So I can feel that the phone is vibrating every now and then, and that's fine. It's okay. Um, as long as the, the scan, like it's not vibrating wildly, you're going to be okay. Um, one thing that I did scan myself into a bit of a trap here is I saw on my monitor that my foot was in the scan. So that'll be fun to deal with as I try and move out of the way. But again, the scan is going fine. I can feel it's not vibrating like crazy. Um, if you have another iPhone or an iPad or anything, it doesn't need to be um, true depth enabled. Scandi has a built-in mirror function. Scandi Pro has a built-in um, screen mirroring function. So you can stream the device screen to another thing. Um, what I'm using right now to do my screen recording is pretty cool. It's a piece of software called Air Server. And so I'm just like using my iMac as a Apple TV for my iPad and my iPhone at the same time which is how I'm getting this nice little like dual screen record effect. Okay, so I can feel this right now, like just vibrating constantly in my hand. Um, and this is not what I wanna feel. So I went really slowly and held that corner until it regained. Um, and so you have some issues with corners sometimes getting around them just cause there's not many features on them. Um, but there we go. That should be good. So scan is done. Chair looks great. That is a lot more detailed than the one on the LiDAR sensor because we scanned it at three millimeter resolution instead of whatever the iPad scanning at and decimate this first before I do a crop so that the crop doesn't freeze. We need to add some file size checking to this so that it only, uh, it only lets you crop if it's below um, at 55 megs. Cool, perfect, great, 49 megs, love it. Um, If it's under a meg, we're always happy with a low res version. So look at that nice polygon that we've got there. Those triangles, they got really low. And that's still pretty good definition of this chair. So this is now, um, we're gonna save new this time. So 143 kilobytes. And, oh, okay, cool. So you see how I loaded this into thing and it's off kilter well we can fix that by going into crop plane and then rotating this into the position that we want it accept it overwrite it and now it should be back cool crop plane if you are cropping and you rotate the mesh we save that orientation of the mesh so that's a fun little pro hack Scandi Pro Pro hack. All right, cool. Um, that looks great. And we can compare that one to the one we made in the LiDAR scan. And we'll do that, but I'm pretty happy with that result. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like doing this with the, the lookout. Woo, woo -hoo, woo. It's uh, 3D printed nylon, so I dropped it and it's okay. Oh Lord. All right. Um, so I'm gonna turn this, what do you think? Not do it monochrome? Jesus, stop trying to drop the God dang lookout. Um, we'll do this one in, in, in color, because we can. Okie dokie. So there's my chair. Um, I'm gonna stick with the three millimeter resolution that went well last time. And ready, set, scan. So 
So this is cool. Look out so great. Like, oh, I can't believe it took us this long to make. It's so nice. <laughs> Just, I'm looking at the screen. I'm scanning the object over there. It works really well. Oh my God, this is just so much easier. This is ridiculous. I mean, wow. Ha, that's so cool. That was so easy. Oh man, the lookout. Thank you, Scale Workspace, for helping us design that file. This thing's awesome. It's like, I think it's $50 on our site. $25 if you want to get the part kit and print it and build it yourself. Um, totally worth it. Oh my God, that was so cool. That was so easy. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and do the crop business. Oh, wait, it's 74 freaking megs, Cole. We're going to decimate it first, and then we're going to crop it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and throw it all the way down. Might as well. 0.4 megs. Love it. Save new. This is my low poly version. And pop back up. And we'll plop this down right here. Sweet. Cool. Well, that was the entire scan workflow. We used the um, iPad Pro 2020 LiDAR sensor to take a scan of the chair. And then we used the front facing LiDAR sense or the front facing true depth sensor on the iPhone 11. And then we also used the lookout to take a scan of that chair on the iphone 11 lookout so if you've got anything else you'd like for me to scan let me know I'd be happy to show you the difference between the lidar sensor and the true depth sensor on other subjects and yeah happy scanning